Welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I am Steve Garagiola, and Digger was correct. We are joined now by a note for Dame double domer, John Jack Blakey. In 2014, Jack was nominated by President Obama and confirmed by the Senate to be a federal judge for the Northern District of Illinois. Judge Blakey was previously chief of the Special Prosecutions Bureau at the Cook County State's Attorney's Office and Special Assistant United States Attorney at the U.S. Attorney's Office. Jack, thank you so much and welcome to Notre Dame Day with us. Thank you, Steve. It's great to uh, be here. I understand you were a theater uh, communications under, undergrad major. How did that help you prepare for the legal career? I know certainly theater is a part of litigation. How did it help you? Well, you know, a liberal arts background prepares you for life in general, mm -hmm. but uh, communication and theater gives you other tools as well, including the ability to understand the nuance of language or the importance of a powerful narrative and the communication skills to communicate and um, convince people to, that, that's a skill that's important, not just on the stage, but in a boardroom or a courtroom. Well, and, and that's such a good point. You can have all the best ideas in the world, but if you can't articulate them in such a way that people hear you and want to hear you, it, what does it matter? Exactly, exactly. Uh, a lot of undergraduates will finish and say, you know, I need new faces, I need some new scenery, but you said, no, I need to be at Notre Dame Law School, double domer. What was it that kept you at Notre Dame? Well, Notre Dame Law School is, well, there's two things, really. The first is uh, my father was teaching at the time, and uh, I wanted that special opportunity to uh, actually learn from the master on so many things. Second of all, Notre Dame gives you a top flight at legal training, but does it in a way where values and the faith that informs values is a big part of the mission. So I really thought that Notre Dame was the place for me, uh, not just for undergrad, but for law school as well. Well, I think you touched on it there. I know, I know the law school promotes the idea of educating a different kind of lawyer. What does that mean to you? Well, it, for me, it meant public service. And when I became a federal judge, it, it gave me a great opportunity to serve not just some people, but a lot of people. It's, it's not public service in a little way, it's public service in a big way. Every day is something totally different, whether it's criminal law or civil law or a trial or working actually by designation on the Seventh Circuit to do appeals. Uh, you get to help so many different people. Litigants um, without a penny, a prisoner fighting about medical treatment or a billionaire. We had Michael Jordan in the courtroom for two weeks as part of a civil trial. So it's from the penniless to a billionaire. It's a wonderful place to work and um, that's really uh, the path I wanted to take. What is it about the federal position that, that enables you to do things that maybe are more important to you than would be in another position? Well, the federal system, at least in, at the trial court level, uh, allows a lots of different types of, um, types of cases to come into one courtroom. In the state system, very often a, a particular courtroom would be you know, divided up by the subject matter, divorce court, a traffic court. I really get to see everything and um, it's great. It's really great to have so many different types of ways to help people. Now I know your theater background came into play here. I understand you were part of a reenactment of the Boston Massacre trial. This was part of a Notre Dame Law School exercise in Boston. I don't remember all of my history beyond, <laughs> I know it was a cold night in 1770 That's when right. some British soldiers killed five Bostonians. You're looking at some uh, fascinating video here. Yes. Why was the trial important and what about this experience? Well, as you know from your history, uh, March 5th, uh, 1770, some British soldiers fired on civilians and a lot of the patriots at the time saw it as an opportunity to bring up an important ideal, the importance of freedom from Great Britain. But one of the patriots, uh, John Adams, saw another ideal that was just as important. It wasn't just about becoming a nation. It was what kind of nation would we become? Would we be a nation of laws or men, of rules or rulers? And at great personal sacrifice to himself, he uh, took on the trial, defended it, um, it got acquittals on all, all except two, and those had lesser charges, uh, convictions. And he just said later that it was one of the most important points of his personal life. And this is the guy who was president of the United States, signed the Declaration of Independence. So when we went out for um, the Shamrock Series, uh, Notre Dame and Boston College took a wonderful chance to celebrate that great moment in history and that great moment of the rule of law. And uh, period costumes, a great, uh, great center, uh, 
historic setting, yeah. and uh, the professors gave history, and the students did a wonderful job. It was great to be part of. Well, really, a landmark case that most of us don't even know about. That's yeah. what a great experience. And so timely, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Judge, thank you so much for joining us great this to be here, evening. Steve.